Yeah, the hyperbola. Sure. I think it's also the Hurley symbol. Okay, fine. The general form of a hyperbola is um x minus h over a squared, y minus k over b squared. Uh, oh, the square of both of those, and then it's equal to one. And here's the difference from the ellipse, literally, pun intended. The hyperbola is the shape that um is equidistance. The difference of the two lengths is equidistance from two points. Okay, those points are still called the foci. Let's get to an example. Yeah, here my a here. This is, this is two squared. Okay, so I go over one, two in the x, and I go over one, two in the y. I see I'm at the center because there's no numbers in the associations with x and y. Here this is one squared, so I go up one and down one. And here we're using the box method. I draw a box through those four points. And then what I do is I connect the diagonals of that box. Yeah, ready? Here they go. I'm running the diagonals through the corners of those boxes. Yes! This is gonna give the end behavior of your hyperbolas. Now, the minus sign's on Y, so it opens away from Y. And your hyperbola is gonna go it's gonna touch that. That's called the vertice. Bam! And out in both directions like that. But it also does it on this side. Bam! Like that. Okay, let's get down here. We gotta get this in standard form. So I'm gonna divide everything by 36. By 36. By 36. Why? Because the standard form of a hyperbola is equal to one. And then here, we will see this. So then this is x squared over four minus y squared over nine, and then that's equal to one. Fun. Here, that's the square of two. I'm in standard position. So I go left two and right two. Ooh, that's the square of three. So I'm gonna go up three, and down three. Oh, then I'm gonna make a box. Then I'm gonna connect and extend the diagonals of that box. Then I find the sign is negative on the Y, so it opens away from Y. And it's gonna look like this. Nice. Are we ever gonna get an example where it opens the other way? Which brings me to my next example. Yeah, okay. Here, uh, under, under Y, I have nine. So I'm gonna go up three and down three. Okay, under X, I have 25. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I make a box. and I connect the diagonals of that box. Whoa, almost missed that one. Yeah, should be straight lines. Wow, should have a nicer box. Um, mm, yeah. Okay, so now that we have the, identi the diagonals, we need to identify which one has the minus. The X has the minus, so it opens away from X. Okay. Yes, and it extends on and behaves to those asymptotes. To a more advanced example, here I'm getting shifty. I'm moving it around. It moves the opposite of the way you think it would. So here I move two in the right, uh-huh, and then one down. Okay, so now this is my new point where I'm going to go left and right and up and down from. Sure, I wanna say it's the center, but it's not really a closed shape, so I think I would be goofy on that. He's goofy anyway. Okay, so this says 
2 in the x direction from that point. 1, 2, there. 1, 2, there. This says 3 from the y direction in the y direction from that point. This is 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, tee hee, tee hee. So now we make a box. Then we connect the diagonals of this box. Now we have to identify which one has the minus sign. The Y has the minus sign, so it opens away from Y. Yeah. Ready, 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 ready. Okay. Oh, boy. Down here, see, we want to put it in standard form. I see, I'm not shifty. So then, I'm gonna have X over. X squared over. Okay. Um, how far does it deviate from the center of that box? Two. So this is gonna be two squared. And it opens away from Y, so that gets the minus sign. Uh-huh. So then it's Y squared over. How far does it deviate there? One, two, three, four. Yes. Four squared, a game you used to play when you were young. Finish him. X squared divided by four minus Y squared divided by 16 is one. Fun, you're done. Last box of the day. But this one has a flower.